I start with blocking in the sky with a mix of King's Blue Light, Scheveningen Blue Light and Titanium White. I make sure that the lightest blue approximately coincide with the lightest spot in the underpainting. That's where the sunlight will come from in a later stage. Towards the horizon I add, as I often do, a little yellow ochre to the mix. After blending the different shades of blue with my thumb, the stipple brush and the Badger Hair fan brush, I got a perfect starting point to work with a tool that costs nothing and is incredibly effective, my rag. In my previous demonstration of the reductive painting technique, I showed you how I painted a solid dark cloud. This time I plan to make a backlit cloudscape with not one, but several rather dark clouds with bright glowing edges. The risky thing about this technique is that it is very difficult to correct any errors. You need a let's see how this works out kind of mindset. And remember that a mistake sometimes is a gift in disguise. Here you can see how I use the light spots in the underpainting. Bringing them out with my rag immediately creates the illusion of light behind the clouds. Though sometimes I think I'm the only one who sees stuff like that. But on the other hand, it could be an important part of painting, seeing possibilities at a stage when the whole thing is still a total mess. The base color of the clouds consists of a mix of King's Blue Light and Vermilion Red. I really like the soft grey-blue color you get when you mix the two. Depending on the amount of red you can make it lean more towards purple. As I get lower I add some indigo. Because the sun is directly behind the clouds, we have a backlight situation here. In other words, the clouds get a silver lining. I use a mix of titanium white, vermilion red and a little violet grey. This last colour is meant to soften the mix a bit. It will make it easier to prevent the final and lighter silver linings from becoming hard, isolated edges. Next is the ocean. I'm using a mix of indigo and schevening and blue light with a little titanium white in the middle. The white strip of paper is not that white anymore. Someone has been smearing paint on it. Why doesn't someone pay attention for once? Time to work on the silver linings again. This time with a mix of titanium white, vermilion red and a little brilliant yellow. Lately I started adding it to these very light mixes. A mix of just red and white is a little one-dimensional and the brilliant yellow gives it more warmth and depth. As you can see I made quite a jump here, simply because I didn't feel like interrupting the painting process by having to handle the camera. Though I'm satisfied with the progress I made, there is still an imbalance in the composition. 
I need an accent on the right to restore the balance. So I cut a stencil from my favorite beach pole, stick a homemade double-sided tape to its back and try to place it in an upright position. Which is not that easy. An ordinary pencil to trace the outlines. And block in the color with a double zero two Kolinsky brush. I do the red head with a mix of the million red and brilliant yellow. The poles solved my problem and the composition is much more balanced now. What do you think? <laughs>